Hey, you playa. Have you ever had a crush on someone that you thought was literally perfect? Everything about them was amazing. They were funny and smart and just so darn attractive. When you start to get that feeling, it can be hard to think about anything else. They're the only person that you like and the only one that you want to be with. But I hate to burst your bubble here, but it's important to know that they are not perfect. The truth is that you're probably falling victim to what's called the halo effect. This is when a person identifies one positive attribute about someone else. In this case, it's probably that you think your crush is super, super hot. And you start to assume other positive attributes about their character based on that. You might just be scrolling through Instagram one minute and then boom, their picture pops up on your feed and you are just captivated by it. You're looking at it thinking, oh my God, everything about them is so amazing. I just can't get over it. Reality check though, some surveys have pointed out that upwards of 70% of people have admitted to editing their photos before they posted them online. So if you're staring at that picture of your crush and thinking, wow, her face is beautiful, her body is banging, everything about her is amazing, chances are she's thrown a few filters on there before posting it. Not to mention the fact that there has been a huge uptick in facial plastic surgeries over the years with people just wanting to look better in their selfies. That perfect image that your crush just fits the mold of has been meticulously crafted to fit within social norms. Sometimes people do everything they can just to have the perfect image, but it is all smoke and mirrors. It's a complete illusion. But that's not to say that every single person takes those measures or edits their photos with lots of filters, you might just have a crush on someone that you think is naturally beautiful. And by extension, everything about them is beautiful. They walk in a beautiful way. They talk in a beautiful way. They smell just perfect like roses. And now you've probably created an entire fantasy in your mind about how they're the perfect partner for you. But I want to burst that bubble again. The best long-term partnerships are not ones where the person thinks their partner is perfect. In fact, they're actually when they see the humanness and flaws that come with every single human being. In fact, researchers at the Greater Good Science Center at UC Berkeley have tackled the subject quite well. They've identified that couples that practice acceptance of one another and self-compassion tend to have the most satisfying relationships. Now, why is that? When you start to see the realness within a person, you begin to understand that they make mistakes. They get angry and jealous and nervous and insecure, all normal traits of being a human. But you begin to realize that there isn't a facade. There isn't this fantasy image anymore. You just see them as they are, the most human person that they can be. And chances are you're not really taking all of that in when you're thinking about your crush because most likely you haven't really gotten that close to them. And that's the piece I want you to really think about. Remove this perfect idea of who you think they are and start saying, yes, they are incredibly beautiful, but there's more to the story here that I need to discover. But I don't say that with the intention to make you feel like it's super easy, get over yourself, go talk to her. There is an intimidation factor that comes into play when you feel like someone is perfect. You're afraid to make the wrong move, to say the wrong thing, to do anything that's gonna burst that perfect image of them. In fact, sometimes it might feel like doing nothing is the best option here. Let's say for example, you were to go talk to them and ask them out, but they turned you down or they put you in some kind of a friend zone that you didn't wanna be in. You might feel like now you've lost the potential potential of being with them, whereas before, when you didn't talk to them, that was still in your mind. I think it's important for you to measure up what you feel you're most comfortable with. If it is doing nothing and you're cool with the idea of seeing your crush move on and date other people and it's not really going to affect you, no harm done. You can like them from a distance and that's okay. But if you feel like it's going to tear you up inside, the thought of wanting to be with them, it's making it hard for you to date other people because you're always comparing that other person to this perfect crush, then the best thing you can do is to approach them, to ask them out, to try to make something happen of it so you can at least know what you can actually expect from a realistic outcome with them. Just remember that you shouldn't go into it with the purpose of wanting to prove that they are perfect. They are human and flawed and that's okay. Instead, focus on the qualities that are actually gonna lead you to have a better and healthier relationship with them. That is shared values, common goals, hobbies and interests that you guys can talk about, things that are gonna allow you to build a future together, not just the fact that you think that they are hot and therefore they are perfect because you are a shining example of exactly what I'm talking about. You offer more than one positive quality to whoever your future partner is going to be. So be willing to see that within them too, beyond the halo affected days that you feel like you're in around them. On that note, I'll catch you next time. As always, love and peace.